Let's deal with the big myth, the big rhetoric that I keep hearing across the industry, which is they're going to ban fluorescent lamps, aren't they? What are the facts around that? The truth is that here in Europe, they probably are at some point, but not for at least for two and a half years. Let's break that down. So again, we're not going to get too deep, but it is important we understand the context here. General purpose for us in lamps. So that's the sort of white lights, strip lights that you might have in your kitchen many years ago or in your offices. These general purpose for us in lamps were banned for sale across Europe several years ago now under what's called the Roche Directive, the Restriction of Hazardous Substances. So this is a piece of legislation that essentially means any item that is produced and sold across, across the continent of Europe mustn't have above an agreed amount of 10 restricted substances. And one of those restricted substances, mercury, which we'll come on to, all fluorescent lamps have at least an element of mercury, an amount of mercury in it. So under the Roche Directive, fluorescent lamps were banned. But UV fluorescent lamps have an exemption through to February 2027. So the European Commission looked at it and said, right, when they made this decision, there weren't really any alternatives to UV fluorescent lamps as they saw it. So they excluded UV lamps from the Ross exemption, which takes us through to February 27. So what's that 18 months away? However, the European lighting industry, and you'll recognize some of the big names that we typically use in our industry. So Philips brand, Sylvania brand, they've come together and they've asked the European Union, European Commission to look to renew that exemption for another year for a further amount of time. And in doing so, just asking for that renewal means that the deadline is extended by one year, gives them more time to review it. So that means we're going to have fluorescent lamps able to be manufactured and sold across Europe, the continent of Europe, until at least February 2028. So that's two and a half years away. And at that point, the European Commission will then decide whether they want to extend the exemption, which means they could say, yeah, we can allow you to continue to sell and use fluorescent lamps for another one year, three year, up to a maximum of five years. Or they could turn around and say, no, there's alternatives now, probably LEDs. We don't need to continue to use fluorescent lamps. So that's the guts of it. We've got fluorescent lamps for at least another two and a half years then we may get a renewal. 